the former vice president and presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in the 2023 general elections, Atiku Abubakar has congratulated Senegal's president-elect, Basiru Faye, for a well-deserved victory. Atiku also advised him to ensure that his election would not only be beneficial to the people of Senegal, but should also be an inspiration to the rest of the people of the West African sub-region. Atiku, who stated this in a statement on Friday, reiterated his call for opposition parties to forge a, a correlation that would be formidable enough to host the ruling party or Progressive Congress APC if the savaging of Nigeria was, a stand, was to stand any chance. Against the backdrop of the recent military intervention in the West African sub-region, the election of Bashiru Faye as Senegal's president-elect in the election of March 24, 2024, gives hope to the future of constitutional democracy in the region, the former vice president explained. I think we have ever noted that there was a huge lesson for Nigerians and elsewhere to learn from the Senegal experience. It is an affirmation that democracy, which is anchored on the supremacy of the ballot, represents the best form of government. It is also possible for the electoral umpire to run an election on the basis of the law and its own guidelines that give confidence to all parties and the voters. He said that Nigerians' experiences in both 2019 and 2023 show clearly that INEC, the Independent National Electoral Commission, performed below its expectation. Whereas in Senegal, the response of the major actors and the citizens are a validation of the process of the election that voted for president-elect Basiru. It is important to note that last Sunday's election in Senegal follows the trend of that in Nigeria in 2015, that the opposition can indeed be victorious in an election conducted by the ruling party. And for the opposition parties, the lessons are in agreement with my persistent call for our opposition parties to forge a correlation that is formidable enough to urge the ruling party if the savaging of Nigeria is to stand by chance. Congratulations to President Alex, Alex Faye. It is my hope and prayer that your election will not only be hugely beneficial to the people of Senegal, but also an inspiration to the rest of us in the West African sub-region. The statement partly reads, hmm. Small, small countries, when we say they don't reach Nigeria, they don't reach Nigeria, then they do election smoothly. Nobody, you know, they hear, they hear them. You understand? Then they do election smoothly. Nobody, they hear them. The, the same Bivas machine, every other person were using. Nigerian government saw it that it was the best form, you know, of election practice. They adopted the method. It got to Nigeria. Something has happened to it. But other countries that have been using it, they never get issue one day. Nothing like uh, uh, this, this, and that. But today, now English, neither they speak for Nigeria. The beavers, bridge, this, that, and all that. Does it mean that we cannot do anything smoothly in this country? without interfering as human beings. Just let things play. Now, we have become a, a topic for discourse before the international communities. People who used to respect us, they don't longer respect us. I am talking about integrity. It matters a lot. No matter how rich you are in this world, but that integrity you not get them. You don't fail with that. And people will know you for that. Even if you are getting respect because you are rich, 
But if you don't have integrity, you don't lost. And you have lost forever. That is the truth. My president called for our opposition parties to forge a coordination that is formidable enough to urge the ruling party. No, article. No. This is wrong. Call. Correlation is for parliamentary and not our type of presidential system. Period to 2024, PDP was the only party with national spread. I'm talking about 2015, please. Period to 2015, PDP was the only party with national spread. The fusion of CPC and uh, all this party, um, AC, ACN, gave birth to APC with significant national spread. However, the arrogance of PDP and the, the treachery of power mongers from a section of the country sent PDP out of power. Interestingly, instead of PDP forming a credible opposition, its members embarked on a food is ready mission. The bottom line is that Article should stop dreaming of a formidable party. Rather, PDP should recognize itself and create opportunities for the younger generation to showcase their powers, their pros. May they allow younger generations to take over. Yes. Encourage your younger genera the younger generations. We know they forbid to have at least a president that is uh, 50, 50 years. We know they forbid. It, it, was not, it was never a cause in Nigeria that we are going to be having people who are very old. You will always support you support them, support them to sit down, support them to stand up, support them to lie down as president. You help them to hear very well. You know, good now. Make Una give younger generations chance. Nigeria will, will definitely change. So guys, I'm just...